Today I will show you how to make a potion bottle that is a shaker. And I'll go through what I made to start out and show you and then I'll show you what you need. Now I'm doing this my own way. There's many videos out there how to make potion bottles and shaker bottles but I came up with my own way and feel free to use my way or just improvise. Now this is a tree syrup sap and I made the tree with polymer clay. I also use these little glow-in-the-dark BBs, they're orbs, and this I used plaster of Paris with molds to make the top. So I'm going to show you a few, and of course there's glitter in there, and then I'll show you what you need. Here is the Whale Wisdom Elixir. I also made the labels myself. However, you can purchase them on Etsy. They have all kinds and they're more detailed on Etsy, but I just did some simple ones. I did the whale tail with polymer clay and the waves. This was plaster from a mold, a shell, ribbon, glitter. You also need glycerin and distilled water, but I'll go through that. So here's some fairy's honey. And see the little cicada wing in there? There's a butterfly stuck on it, it looks like. Look at that, how cute. And I also did plaster molds. So this is um, a label that I purchased. Here's Dolphin Joy. There's a little polymer clay dolphin inside. You can't really see it right now. But I made that. So you can do your own little trinkets out of polymer clay. Need some glue. Out of polymer clay. And then you can also use store bought ones. I don't think I did any store bought ones. But here's another mushroom one. I made the mushrooms. I made the broom. And here's a little witch's brew. I made that drip a little bit. That's kind of neat. And that is a semi-precious stone on the top. And I used resin to make it look like wax dripping. So there's many different kinds, like this one. Here's another fairy wing essence. And they have cicada wings inside. Can see that I think they're absolutely beautiful that is plaster from a mold now this is the one that I did that you're going to see on the video this is the one I made to record now I used a real rose that I dried out and I resined it and in the video, it starts to turn white. Now it's been a while, so the rose actually turned white. So I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you like it, because it is a potion after all. But you can also just put, um, I wouldn't use the plaster, I would use polymer clay or some kind of resin inside it, because it's gonna be in the liquid for Ever, as long as it lasts so this is the one that you will see that we made and unfortunately the last video is kind of blurry so here's another one mermaid tears 
This is made from plaster and clay. And there's just shells in there. So these are darling. These are really cute little gifts. So if you do follow what I do, I'll tell you what you need. You definitely need some UV resin. You'll need the lamp. You'll definitely need this glue, E6000. You need some kind of acrylic paint, some glitter, a glue gun with the glue. You need some ribbon, any kind of ribbon. You would need molds. If you want to do a mold, you don't have to. Like, you know, something for the top. Now, the flower mold like this, you can find in the Hobby Lobby uh, section where they make cakes. These are like cake molds um, for decorating cakes. You'll find those. They were very inexpensive. I think this was 99 cents. So you can find the molds in Hobby Lobby. Um, there's also this kind of mold. This is an acorn and it's deeper. So it's nice. So you can flip it over and put it on the top. So you would need that. What else? You definitely need, you know, like things to decorate in. You need the clay if you want to make your own trinkets, like this one. I made this heart. This is out of polymer clay. And then I painted it. And then I put resin on it. You will need, besides the molds, you will need a bunch of little things that go inside, like crystals. These are from Timu. You can use these kind of crystals too. Anything, any, any plastic or acrylic, these little little bubbles, these leaves, these you can get at Walmart, these little, these are clay, here's some rocks, and some more of these, so this is the things you need to fill your bottle some shells and of course some cicada wings now I resin these I have gotten these older ones from a friend years ago and recently a friend sent me because we had cicadas this year, sent me a few of them. Her sister found them, and thank you, Janine and Kathy. And I resin them all, and that's where I showed you my fairy wing essence. Here's another one with the fairy wings in there. Okay. So that's pretty much it. You will definitely need to gather up your supplies and we'll go on to the next step. Some butterflies. And here's, these are the labels you can use, a bunch of stickers. So in a nutshell, I fill it with all the glitter. I add half glycerin and half distilled water. I have to paint the cork 
with acrylic so it's like a plastic and then I resin it I put resin on it as well so it's double then I will glue it with this I let it dry and then I resin it as well then you can shake it you add your top whatever kind of top you want on here which you know you can just you can just do wax if you want you can just add wax to it or you can add a crystal to it and put it on top you don't necessarily have to get a mold and use uh, the plaster of Paris you can just you know use whatever you have or you know that's it so we'll go on to the next video here's some stickers I wanted to show you like spider eggs death potion frog slime spider eggs wolf's bane unicorn blood of course I'm not gonna do that you know I I like positive stuff but of course you can use witchy potions if you want there's all kinds unicorn horn I wouldn't use it either with a skull arsenic these are like you know kind of negative ones so I decided to make my own but here's a couple more I wanted to show you you can get these stickers um, on Etsy they also have where you can buy them um, and then print them out like here's crow's foot venomous calendula, calendula witch's brew superior superior healing potion now this is the kind of potions I'm going to be making deadly nightshade full moon elixir that's a good one moon lily I like some of these positive ones you know so but it is fun to make some dark ones too I mean Halloween's coming up and I am going to make one a witchy a witch's one but see I printed them up myself here I don't know which way it's gonna go here so you could see them this is another fairy wing this is one of my favorites it's so pretty here's the cicada wing you see it in there and shake this up it's just so so girly so pretty I love this one and then here's another one this is another one a fairy wing essence and you can see the wings in there and shake that one up too this one's really pretty the colors and I did a clay top so there you go so what we're first gonna do here is I put these crystals in there that I want to use and two little acrylic butterflies if you could see them one there and one there I don't use too many of those I just want to use a couple because there's so many things you can add in here like I showed you earlier the hearts here's some glitters you can use these I got at Hobby Lobby they were on clearance so that and here's the big red glitter and here is I'm gonna do a pinch of gold not a whole lot they also have the glow the glow glitter besides the crystals and the leaves as I showed you but what I'm gonna do now is I resined this real rose that was dried and I am going to actually resin it again and soak it in some water and test it out because I think that would look pretty cool in there as like the centerpiece so but I just don't know how it will hold up so I'm going to actually test this for a couple days 
and see if it works and I will be back. And it'll be seconds for you, but I'll be back again to let you know how it worked. Otherwise, I'll just put the glitter in there and not worry about it. And put something, I don't know. I could have made, maybe I could make something with polymer clay for a love potion. I'll have to think about that. Okay, I will be back. Okay, so I've been soaking this rose. And I think it will be okay. So let's see, I had to weigh it down with some of these crystals. So we're gonna put that in there, if it fits. There we go. All right, got it in there. Now time to add. We're gonna add those. We're gonna add two little butterflies here. Oops. Two little butterflies. I'm going to add these crystals. We're going to add some leaves to add a touch of color. These little ice crystals. Some hearts. You can really overkill the glitter. And I think some of these little bubbles. <laughs> A few more. Okay, now we're gonna add a pinch of the red large glitter. That was smart. And we'll do some very little bit of this one. It's fun to put it in, but you can overdo it. <laughs> okay, so now we have to add distilled water and glycerin. So I'll do half glycerin and then distilled water because there's no minerals in it and it won't turn color or after a long period of time. So this stuff is not cheap. Okay, so I filled it with half glycerin and half distilled water. Now what we'll do is use this E6000 and I like to just put it around this edge here to try not to get it inside and you want to make sure again this is sealed painted and then sealed with resin I'm sure if you coat it with acrylic paint, you won't need the resin, but I have it. So, and sometimes the glitter clumps up, but. All right, so let's see. Let's push that down. And there's some water coming out. You wanna make sure, hold on. This is dry.
make sure that's sealed. So I'll be back when this is dry and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now it's not fully dry. I'm gonna wait 24 hours for that to dry and then we'll work on the top. But you have to shake this up really good so the glycerin and the water blends together. It'll look very cloudy at first, but if you keep shaking it, it will blend together. So look how pretty. I mean, it's so pretty. I wish you could see the glittery in there. It's just so pretty. Now, remember, you can make polymer clay flowers. You can put whatever you want in there. I glued the resin to actually those crystals on the bottom to weigh it down because this flower was floating. So let's do the top of this after I give this a full 24 hour cure because this isn't all that I will do to keep it sealed. We want to resin that on top of it. So we'll do that next. Okay, stay tuned. So I mentioned in the beginning of the video that the end portion was blurry, showing you what I did. So unfortunately, I couldn't use that video, but I'm going to explain to you really quick. All I did was put the sticker on and then I resined it and then I cured it and then put a line of resin around the rim of the frame and put glitter on it. I resined the cork and then I glued the flower on top and I also put this ribbon around it. And it worked perfect and you can glue that. You can also hot glue around it too to make it secure. So that's really all I did next and I wanted to show you, this has been a while but it pretty much held up. However, the water kind of changed a little bit and the rose turned white. So I wouldn't recommend using a real resin rose in the liquid, but I wanted to see how it would work out. It's still pretty though. Look at that. It's so pretty. And after all, like I said at the beginning, it is a potion. So that might be appropriate to keep in there. So that's all I did. And I want to just thank you for watching and See you next time.